Hey guys, I have a third generation Toyota 4Runner and if I turn the lights on, uh, the gear shift indicator used to light up, but it no longer does. I mean, you don't really need it because it shows you the gears up there, but it is kind of nice to have it down here at night. And all that happened was a little bulb behind this burned out so I'm going to show you how to replace it really quick and I'm going to use an LED so it doesn't burn out again but go ahead and start by lifting up that thing and this guy just pops right out slides off the parking brake handle and then this just pops up And you don't actually need to remove this all the way. And the bulb holder is right below the shifter right there. And you don't actually have to remove any part of the shifter. You can kind of get your hands in there. And looking at it this way, you're gonna turn it clockwise and then it should just drop right out. And you can just feed it up through here. And the old bulb just pulls right out. You can definitely tell the bulb is burned out and here it is next to the LED replacement that I got for it. And this is a 74 type bulb so I will leave a link to the halogen version down below but I will be putting the LED in so I will leave a link to that one as well. And usually you have to buy a bigger pack on like Amazon of the LEDs but fortunately you can use them in other parts of the car like behind the HVAC controls or the instrument panel, I believe they use similar bulbs. The thing about LEDs is that they have to have the right polarity to work, unlike the regular halogen bulbs. Uh, some of these newer nice LED bulbs can work either way because they have a special little circuit on them, um, but some of them still don't. So we'll go ahead and stick this in here and we'll turn the lights on. And look at that, it works. And just to see, I'm gonna flip it around and see if it works the other way as well. Nope, it doesn't work that way. So I'll just uh, flip it back around. You just wanna make sure it works before you put it all back together. All right, then we just need to reinstall it. And it's kind of a pain, you gotta line it up. I felt it drop in and you just twist it to lock it into place. Until it stops and there we go it's installed and we'll just check it one more time and check that out lights up again well anyways guys there we go it's a super easy job to replace that bulb and get it working again but I'm just gonna clean stuff up under here a little bit because it's kind of dirty and then put it all back together but anyways thanks for watching guys and I will see you next time peace out